What you're looking at here is the impact of an astronomical tide cycle along with Hurricane Francine's storm surge. Now this is actually a lowering tide. You can still see the water has left the bayou here and is coming in um, underneath some of these homes here. Now here at Cocotree, these are fish camps for the most part. They're not full-time homes, but they're built to withstand storm surge. Clearly this is a very vulnerable area to any sorts of tropical cyclone. And this is an area that's been hit hard in the last four years from hurricanes, Hurricane Zeta and Hurricane Ida. But let's get this clear. Francine is not one of those two storms. It's not gonna come in with the punch, especially that Ida brought. You can still see the scars throughout here though from homes that are still in rubble sitting on the pilings to home pilings that are just completely empty homes that have not been brought back after those previous hurricanes these hurricanes over the last five years have, have really scarred the coastline here along louisiana it's it's lost a lot of population if people have just retreated because of the constant beatings they've received during hurricane season storm surge going to be the biggest impact from francine most likely here on the central gulf coast and i'll be covering those impacts for weather and radar please download the app we have a task force of meteorologists there they'll have a discussion and talk about what you can expect from this hurricane and you can see more reports from me on that app i'm jonathan petromala here at coca louisiana for weather and radar